And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scythria Elites. Our next meme tier deck is going to be a deck with all the Scythrias. So oops, all Scythrias. <laughs> we have um, Scythria Cloudfield, uh, Scythria of Cloudfield, sorry, our one mana elite. And then Scythria turned into the Squire. This Vanguard Squire is Scythria. So that's going to be the four mana 3-3 three, three elite. And then Scythria... Uh, then it turned into Scythrio the Bold, 6 mana, 6-6 six, six elite. And finally, we have now Scythria, Lady of Clouds. Um, yeah, just for some real experiences, kind of, you know, the, the cards have told Scythria's story of where she started and where she's ended up. Pretty cool. And so we're putting all the Scythrias together. And so then building around having a deck with all the Scythrias, they're all elites and kind of deal with the elite. So we're, we're planning, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have an elite deck. Um, of course, we have this 10 mana Scythria that we need to get in play. And so being able to do that's kind of tough. So we're going to have that with Spectral Matron because that's just a wonderful combination. Spectral Matron can be pretty decent in this deck even if we don't have Scythria because you can put in a card like Scythria the Bold, which could be a, a great card to have with Spectral Matron or putting in like Vanguard Bannerman. That could be pretty awesome, or, you know, an extra Garen or something. So, you know, we still have other good targets. But then for our for our uh, spells, we're going to have Mobilize in here, because we want to actually make those cheaper also. This is going to be another way to reduce the cost of the 10 mana Scythria and try to get it where we can play it a little earlier. Now, Mobilize, of course, it's 3 mana reduce the cost of your allies in your hand, but it's so that you're spending mana and not affecting the board at all. And only just the allies in your hand. Like, maybe you only have three allies in your hand, and you're only reducing the cost of each one of them. Right, so you maybe want more allies in your hand with Mobilize. So since we're also playing Shadow Isles, we get Stalking Shadows. Stalking Shadows should be perfect, because it can find any Scythria. <laughs> really, you can find any of them. Um, but then also, the Stalking Shadows pairs really well with Mobilize, because then you get you get two allies into your hand, um, you know, two followers, and like those Mobilize reduces the cost of both of those. So we're trying out that combination of those two together and uh yeah that's gonna be kind of the kind of the deck uh you know just also playing some single combats looks like uh you know single combat sharp sight for like our other spells will be battlesmith since we're doing elites and that's gonna be about it from here so using spectral mate spectral matron and scythria at the top end of the elite deck instead of some of these other elite cards that you see sometimes i think this should be a pretty powerful top end all right, so let's go ahead and, and try Scythria Elites. We'll go play our five games in normal. Yeah, we're a Scythria deck. All right, so the first time playing this deck in normal. Aurelia Azir. Um, no, I, should, I probably should have kept the 10 mana Scythria, shouldn't I? I, I'm mulling into it because, you know, this is Aurelio Azir. <laughs> you know, they kill us by turn five. But maybe I should just be keeping him. So our, our goal is to basically, you know, Stalking Shadows, find a couple more followers, mob and then mobilize, make everything cost less, and then just unload our hand. It's like turn four, turn five just suddenly you know like we're not really playing to the board before that but then just unload our hand and take over after that but unfortunately even though we had those two you know we found sharp sight found single combat we don't have very many spells in our deck of course being a mobilized deck we have 13 13 spells 12. We have 12 spells. Even less. So we have basically half of the spells in our entire deck are in our hand by turn 2. That's not good. Lives forever. On a scale of good to not good, that's not good. So now here's all of our followers. 
Mm, I guess it's Matron. Matron's gonna cost seven. We could take Vanguard Sergeants. Maybe it's Vanguard Sergeant. No, let's take Matron. Maybe I should have played the other. Maybe I didn't need to play the, the other one, because if I want to play the other one, I could have played Garen this round. Damn, Blade Dance is pretty broken. trying to have some fun over here, opponent. You don't have to kill us on turn two. Or whatever that was. Okay, this will be a better matchup. One that's a little bit more fu more fair. Um. I don't necessarily dislike keeping Vanguard Squires because you can play them pretty quickly out there. You know, like this is it's this is a, a high risk, high reward type hand. If we find like another elite or two, we can just throw them down. But no, I'll go ahead and we'll get them. Well, yeah, we weren't taking exact lethal right then, but if they they just you know. Blade dance right there, and then just even open attack. Then, then we're dead. Like there are zeros leveled up. Those things are plus two. All they had to do is open attack, and we're dead. But also just play all the other stuff they have. Sturdy blades, custom made. Six four. So I could sharp sight, but that kind of that plays into their um plays into like their combat spells, right? Like they they have lots of combat spells in their deck as well. Figure I can wait a turn, I can Bannerman. Oh, we missed? We have one of our five Shadow Isles cards on top. Banner. 
Well, that's not good. And we missed that Bannerman. That's not good. Having access to Judgment could be really nice, though, next round. Alright, we'll just kind of stabilize, have, you know, have them waste six mana. Yeah, they wanted to do that after I attacked, and so we did not let them. So I was looking for a Spectral Matron, of course, you know, so I could, you know, have Spectral Matron Cythria next round. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. We could still draw Spectral Matron, but now obviously I don't have the room. But I still think it's worth it to so now we open attack. I can see attack on those things. I don't really need them anymore. I could see attacking with those. Justice waits for no. Nah. First me, then the words. The time is right. Strike now. We go ahead and do this. It takes out that uh, Legion Marauder. Maybe I should have, you know, just be focused on single combat, the Ash instead. But I like killing that thing while we know we can kill that thing. That's pretty nice. Stalking Shadows Vanguard Bannerman's pretty nice. That's really nice. Hmm. 
I am going to block. It's just, you know, do I throw away a Battlesmith or do I throw away a Challenger? And I feel like I throw away a Battlesmith. Obviously, I can't block with the 06. I'd block with the 06 if I could. a little bit bigger than Vanguard Bannerman. So that's the only thing at Frostbite. That's true that the Lady of Clouds would just grant the Challenger anyway. And if I would have... If I would have just if I would have just let the other thing die, then um, you know we could have played the spectral matron and had another lady of clouds. But all good. Back to the skies, knights of Demacia. Cythria elites. Yeah, gotta love that. Gotta love that. Back to Aurelia Azir, unfortunately. So the defender has tough, that means it can it can block pretty well. Um I do have a good Gangplank Sejuani list, yes. We were going to play it yesterday, but we had there were server issues, so we weren't able to play it. So we're going to play it tomorrow. So if you want to see it on stream, we play tomorrow. But it's from Cordek, and Cordek makes very good lists. And so he's been playing that in ranked quite a bit recently. Alright, so they got best one drop, best two drop. Maybe they don't have a champion. Maybe no champion. Okay. That's not a champion. But the Marcian soldier is worth ten foes. Yay! We hit the Bannerman. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. All right. That's a good card. I'll we'll just replace Sergeant, so now I have the ability to single combat. See what we see. So yeah, they're going all in on the screenplay duo. That's honestly just fine for me, right? Because the flawless duets, you know, like that's gone. Now my Vanguard Sergeant gets to stay alive. So that's just fine. 
Question is, is for Demacia or Bannerman? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter which one we do. I think I was leaning towards Fort Demacia. I think that's where I was leaning was towards Fort Demacia. Okay, puppy girl's doing good. Remember when I said maybe they don't have a champion? We were actually... <laughs> that actually worked out. They actually did not have a champion. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, Tom Kench, Soraka. Can we maybe even mulligan Cythria of Cloudfield, honestly? I don't know if we really need the one mana unit. I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit. So I can make it, you know, like it could be a one cost I'm two two last round, or now I make it a three three. We really were all in Scythria, though, right? Two Scythria of Cloudfields, two Scythria Lady of Clouds, and a Scythria of the Bold. <laughs> we're, we're all about Scythria with this hand. So the four mana Scythria that has the cost reduction, that has to be in your hand, correct, for the cost reduction? Okay, so it's not, yeah, it has to be in our hand. So it's not like a two-cost card now, because we played two elites. I make shepherding look easy. Definitely considering just playing this card as a 4-4. I mean, for next round of attack. No, we should we should just wait. Let's just save our spell mana. Stand back. Real battle. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. So this should round start take three. So I'm hoping that that three plus this three will kill it. They've used two Guiding Touch and one Pale Cascade as far as very valuable uh, combat tricks go. Awesome. Spectral Matron. Show them what we're made of. Close your eyes and the stars will fill you with their light. If my eyes are closed, won't I miss it? It's a tough decision whether to just open attack or to play Garen or Bannerman first.
What's like the worst that can happen? Like they just play like a bunch of things that aren't even that good anyway. As they hush. If I play this, they hush the Scythria. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the worst thing that they can happen is they hush C Scythria. Alright, I'll attack. Go no further. For silver I talk, for gold I feast it. So I can't really play either Bannerman or Garen. I can't really play anything. Because if I play something, then I don't get to Spectral Matron next round. So the open attack did work out. Live with purpose. Hopefully they can't heal too much. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> Playing these does make it difficult for them to attack with the Soraka. Even though they get to fully heal it, it's still pretty difficult to attack with it now. I'd say. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom! This you know! All right, come on, mobilize. Top tech, mobilize. Mobilize. So we can play Cythria. Appetizers of plenty. All right. So I guess we're just open attacking. One way to test them out. One way. Or another. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I kind of want to challenge the Soraka. No. No. We almost got to attack with all the Scythias. We had we had three three different Scythias in play last round. Vanguard Redeemer still just looks a lot like Scythia. Maybe they're cousins or something. Because yeah, they're gonna need three hushes. We're gonna need a hush for all of these. That's a hush. That's a hush. Mascalar, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. And so maybe I should be, maybe I should be challenging the Soraka because that's how I lose instead of the Tom Kench. Take heart, live with purpose. Only had two hushes. Gts. Alright, that was a good Cythria game right there. We got 10 mana Cythria in play. That's always a good time. Maskler, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy to have you back. Hope you're enjoying the new expansion if you've checked it out yet. Alright, got our first winning record today. Another Aurelia deck with Misfortune. It's a very aggressive. We can use that tough. Ooh, we got Mobilize. Uh, I'm gonna keep Spectral Matron with the Mobilize. 
Now, of course, mulliganing the other spell, looking for units. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's... Life can get real busy, that's for sure. But... I can't tell you how much I really appreciate you stopping by and using the Twitch Prime sub even with a busy life. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, the... Yeah, Radiant Guardian could definitely be in here. We... Um, yeah, we could definitely have Radiant Guardian in here. Um, I got you. Certainly. It's not an elite. That's why it's not really here. It's not elite, and we have Garen at that spot. Strike quickly. But yeah, it could definitely be in here. Alright. So I could do Mobilize again. And then I could mobilize again and then Battlesmith Scythria. Or I wait till next round. I think I wait till next round and save. And because, you know, maybe we draw another unit that we get to mobilize. Now, I had to use one because, you know, we can't just waste our mana. I dance not to forget, but to remember. But to remember. Mm. Can I wait around? Yeah, I think I can wait around. Rewarded for waiting. The Yordle here's with me. Uh oh. Sturdy blades, custom made. This thing gonna be big. Wow, I love that. Are they worried about sharp sight? No, I hate that. No, go back and just attack with the Green Glade duo. So I can mobilize again and then play Cethria. Might as well just play Cethria though. If, I, if only I could mobilize like Spec if only I could Spectral Matron the Cethria. We're just one mana short from you know turn five Spectral Matron attack. That would have been awesome. Them together, little blossom. Don't back down. I'll make them for the show. I blocked the blade with tough. So pretty cool attack. Green Glade duo gonna get us unless we draw a sharp sight or single combat. 
Uh, if we don't draw either of those, this Green Blade duo kills us. So hopefully we do. Nope. Defend our banner. Our ancestors are watching. Today we turn the tide of war. Well, we got elusive. So we did end up losing twice to Aurelia. Um, but overall, I think our deck looked pretty solid. Like, we got to do some really cool stuff. And we had some pretty big top end, but you know, like these Aurelia decks are just so fast and like the elusives. If you don't draw your sharp sight or single combat. Now, I mulligan sharp sight from my opener because I had mobilize, and obviously, that in hindsight, that was a mistake. Need to keep sharp sight to be able to kill a Green Glade Duo. Our one time that we did win that matchup, we did get to kill Green Glade Duo with the single combat that uh, allowed us to win that race. So, um, yeah, so that was. You know, because when you have mobilize, you don't want to have any spells in hand. You know, like you want to have lots of allies. So I mulligan the sharp sight. Ended up coming back to bite me because we didn't draw another sharp sight or single combat afterwards. Because you know, it could just go the other way, right? Like I keep sharp sight and then we draw another sharp sight single combat. And we just have a bunch of spells and then our mobilize doesn't do anything. You know, so it's, um, you know, either way it can bite you. But uh, that time did not have the did not have the spells that we needed. Needed one of them. All right, but there we go. That was Cythria Elites. I thought this was a pretty good all Cythria deck. It really, it really did feel um, pretty good. Besides, you know, like those are really decks that are that are just super, super fast. Um, you know, Lady of Clouds is really powerful if you can get to it. Spectral Matron helps you do it. Um, yeah, I think I think this worked out because a lot of like these these decks with um, you know, like these elite decks. Really, what we struggled with with the elite decks before in the past is like, how do you like really win games? Like, how is your deck real powerful in the late game? Like, yeah, you, you could get to play like some, you know, good sized bodies in the mid game and you get to attack with them. You can have like a lot of like three threes and four fours attacking and everything like that. But if your opponent plays good enough defense and if that plan doesn't work, or if you kind of have a slower draw, that plan doesn't work, how do you actually win games at the top end? And before, the answer, you know, was was like these two cards, the Reinforcement, this For the Fallen. I've never liked For the Fallen, because for, for the Fallen has to be in your hand for the cost reduction. And, you know, Reinforcements is kind of meh. Like, both these cards aren't aren't really that good. They're really high variance. Um, sometimes they can be pretty nice, but for the most part, they're really high variance. And so it didn't really have, like, a great finish. A lot of people tried, like, Harrowing. I never really liked Harrowing with this deck, though. Um, but I think, because as you saw, like, even with those games, like, a lot of times, like, when, when the games stall out like that, you usually have, like, a good amount of units in play anyway. And so, like, the Harrowing plan, I don't I don't really like. Um, but this Spectral Matron plus Scythria at the top end, now this is a real finisher for the Elite deck. And I, I that definitely felt, um, you know, that definitely felt good. And this, you know, double all power and health. And we also, like, the Scythria of the Bold was amazing for us with the Fearsome. This for the top end of these three cards. Now we're talking. Now we're a real deck. I probably, um, if I'm just playing like elites and playing a normal deck, I don't think I'm playing a Vanguard Squire. I don't think this is really good enough for constructed. But of course, our deck was was all Cythrias, so we put all the Cythria cards in there. So we had Vanguard Squire in our deck. But if you want to like, you know, play this kind of deck, but uh, you know, like more for ranked and, and stuff, I would I would recommend replacing Vanguard Squire play something that's that's more useful you know you can play another like play a second silver wing a second vanguard sergeant um stuff like that like those cards uh or you know you can also like uh another good option is the swift wing i know it's not an elite but it's still a very good card um so you'll play this or play radiant guardian like we're talking about like maybe instead of vanguard's choir you know with the metagame so aggro and all these aurelia decks around these days Throw some Radiant Guardians in there. You know, like that's a good replacement there too. So I think I think this can get replaced by a lot of like other good cards. You know, Swift Wing, Screeching Dragon, Radiant Guardian, 
or Silverwing Vanguard. You know, you, you can put some other mid rangey stuff in, in here that's going to be more powerful than this one. All right, so but there we go. So that's Cythria Elite. Um, the Stalking Shadows were good. I thought that was good. I thought the Stalking Shadows, Mobilize, Sharp Sight, Single Combat, I thought those were good for our spells. And then all Elites. I think it worked out well. Um, one, maybe one Atrocity. I wouldn't mind one Atrocity. You could also do that as well because you're buffing stuff up. So you could you could play an Atrocity. I wouldn't mind that if you want like one Radiant Guardian, one Atrocity for the Vanguard Squires. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, but that's going to be it here for Cythria Elites. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.